Hi everybody, just want to do a quick tutorial here on how I'd set up this pole camera so I can do elevated yeah, photography. I went to Hobby Town USA here, uh, it was the local store, and picked up the Futaba Sky Sport. This is the 4YF. Uh, don't really think I needed to go with the 2G, 2.4 gigahertz. I do have a, a standard model that's a little bit cheaper. Nice thing I liked about this one is that it did come with the receiver. Uh, now here we've got actually two different things set up on there so that I can control the tilt and the zoom. I'm just running off the four AA batteries. They try to push me on the rechargeables, but I think this will probably work out a little bit easier as it's not going to be an everyday thing for me. I built a whole rig in my workshop. You can probably see that in the background there. Um, simple little gear. I just took some one by stock, uh, squared it off, and attached it. On this end, we're connecting it up using the servo motor. I did have to go with a little bit stronger servo as the 40 is a heavy beast. This is just a little nylon nut. Um, had to narrow it down a little bit to get into the hole. But it's got nylon washers in there and a wing nut on the side. That lets it sit up here on the mount. Uh, speaking of the mount, I ended up using a uh, camper's flagpole. So this is actually intended for people who do RVs. You can pull your RV up. You run over the little plate down there, drop the flagpole into the socket, and you're pretty stable. As I've just got it down here on the ground, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let me flip the power on here and we'll see what happens. So it's going to go back to the auto sensor on the servo here. Now this is a standard servo. It's running with the 90 degree limiter on it. Uh, with that I can control from the RC my pitch so I can get almost straight down on it. And that's just simply right here. The nice thing I like about that is it's actually the throttle connection so it's going to stay where I leave it. I also set up over here, now this is where I actually had to put some work into it, this is the Zoom. Now I used a, part of the original kit I got was a Futaba S3004. Uh, there's an online tutorial on the 3003 how to convert that from a standard servo to a continuous run servo. Uh, with the standard servo I was getting about this much turn which is not a lot of zoom. Sorry about the shaking here guys, it's just the way I am. Um, <clears throat> when I moved it to a continuous zoom, I can move from my full 28 all the way out to 150. So, it's uh, I'm sorry, Canon 28 to 80. So, I can get a pretty decent zoom on there. But it's really quite a simple setup. Uh, this piece here is actually designed for film cameras. Uh, it was $8 on Amazon. Very cheap. Um, and then, like I said, I just repurposed this basic servo here. I'll make sure and link to the tutorial on how to convert it. Because that really was the trick to it. Couldn't get it done without it. But that's about it. Um, and then hook up through the USB port. Over on the other side, run it into my laptop. Uh, the next step is going to move that over to a tablet. Uh, and then I'll be able to shoot even a little bit more mobile. Uh, thanks for watching.